RP continues its fight against the SEC. Exchanges are getting more and more confident to relist this former altcoin gem. But what does that mean for the price? In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the recent SEC developments, what a clear path for XRP could look like, and my prediction on how that will affect the price. Calling all XRP Army members, let's get it. Cryptos are assets, because blockchain is a lot more than just a currency. But in the case of XRP, it is a blockchain technology whose main use case is to act as a currency. Launching with the slogan, the best digital asset for global payments, brought a lot of great press to Ripple Labs and XRP when it launched all the way back in 2012. But the use case for XRP is hyper-focused, which is a hallmark of a good project. And the other thing that helps XRP is that it actually works as fully launched. Transactions on the XRP network are blazing fast, coming in at 1,500 transactions per second. For comparison, Bitcoin transactions take around 10 minutes on a normal day. The fees are also very small, just fractions of a penny. Compare that to the bonkers gas fees we've seen on Ethereum for what seems like forever now. But Ripple Labs also has a solid team and the potential for a robust ecosystem means XRP has the ground game to be a serious contender. It just has to clear this legal hurdle first. So I want to share this piece of news with you, the Bit Squad, to keep you guys ahead of the curve on XRP. It appears, from what we're seeing, that several institutional and government executives are expecting Ripple Labs to emerge victorious from the lawsuit, and getting XRP back on the path to being the best digital asset for global payments. But my most bullish prediction is that institutional money really starts to rip, could push XRP up 35x from where it is today, meaning a possible $35 XRP by the end of this year, especially with this history-breaking bull market we're in, but if the FUD clears out, we could be looking at a W-shaped recovery that sends XRP out of the atmosphere.